This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Well, thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tamika Artis, and here's a look at some of today's top stories. One of the Tri-State's largest COVID-19 mass vaccination clinics opens its doors today. Northern Kentucky University's BB&T Arena will host the clinic starting at 8 a.m. Organizers say as many as 4,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine will be given out today and tomorrow. Appointments are booked solid and walk-ins are not allowed. Coronavirus vaccinations will also continue today at the Centos Center at Xavier University. The clinic first opened earlier this week. The Ohio Department of Health hopes to vaccinate 10,000 people at the site throughout today. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine opened vaccinations to those 40 and older yesterday. If you need a ride to the Centos Center, Metro is on board with free rides today. Organizers say routes 4, 31, 51 and Metro Plus will drop you off right in front of the Centos Center. Free shuttle services are also running from three bus stops, Montgomery Road and Dana Avenue, Woodburn and Dana Avenues and Xavier University's overflow parking lot. Restaurants and bars across northern Kentucky are celebrating the state's success this weekend and fighting COVID-19. Businesses can now serve alcohol until midnight instead of 11 p.m. The new order went into effect for the first time last night. Bars do have to close by 1 a.m. Capacity still capped at 60 percent. Raven, how's the forecast? All right, forecast is actually looking really good this weekend. We're talking about some 50s and some 60s. We got plenty of sunshine to go around for us. Your Saturday highs, well, they'll be into the upper 50s for everybody, pretty much where we usually are for this time of the year. And your extended forecast looks like this, warming up a little bit more for your Sunday and then rain as we head into next week. But overall, our temperatures are trending to be on the warm side. That is a look at your forecast, everybody. Enjoy this first day of spring.